What's going on drivers and fellow sea beers? It's Jay Rich back again with another one. And today we are talking about bonding, RF bonding specifically. Uh, this goes along with your antenna grounding and stuff like that for your CB. So with the RF bonding, there's like so many theories out there on why and how this works and everything like that. But the best way that I can explain this is that you have a CB antenna. That CB antenna sees the vehicle, so to speak. Okay. And when the vehicle is not bonded together, meaning the cab to the frame, the doors to the cab, the exhaust to the cab to the frame, all that, all of those points can become a reflective spot for your antenna to bounce off of and so you'll bounce off of that and your signal won't radiate out like it should if you're using a single antenna system an omnidirectional which means going out evenly in all directions um, then you have the dual antenna systems which are bi-directional um, usually your antennas are on the left and the right and they radiate out front to back mainly a little bit side to side but mainly front to back and you can hear longer out and transmit longer out but it's only in two directions where omnidirectional you should hit if you're doing 10 miles this way you should be able to do 10 miles that way now all this depends on the radio that is receiving your transmission as well is that radio able to hear as good as yours is talking is that radio able to talk as good as you're hearing? You don't know. All right, so the goal is to get the vehicle to be one, to be one ground. You want the cab to be a ground so that the antenna has that resistance and it sends all the power straight up out of the antenna itself, not bouncing and reflecting off of the vehicle. That's my understanding of it, and that's the simplest way that I know to convey from everything I've read and everything I've watched, all that I've learned. Now, you want to use bonding straps, basically, like these are one inch straps, and you want the frame to the cab uh, in several different spots. On this truck, I'm doing, uh, two in the back, two in the front, one on each side of the frame. Uh, the exhaust will get bonded to the cab and then from the exhaust also to the, um, to the frame. Now, if you have watched my last video, you saw that I used these really long uh, 10 foot straps that were cut down to seven and a half feet to go from my antenna down to the frame and I got a little heat for that and that's okay. That's okay and not mad at anybody. But if I wouldn't have done that, somebody would have said, hey, you should be running a ground strap from the antenna directly to the frame. Uh, your truck is plastic, yada, yada, it's fiberglass, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Now, upon further research, I know there are plastic panels on my truck. There's probably some fiberglass as well. We all know the hood is plastic or fiberglass, but the back panel of the truck I was fairly certain that it was plastic or fiberglass it turns out that it's actually aluminum the only other issue is is that everywhere there is a seam in the aluminum all the pop rivets um, there's also glue in between you know so yeah you do have the rivets that are making a connection um, but I'm gonna uh, try some other stuff with the grab handles, uh, try to ground those better um, to, the, to the body itself so that the antenna still maintains a good ground. The doors, what I'm using on the doors is a half inch braid because my door hinge style is different from many others. Both, most of y'all have a hinge at the top and a hinge at the bottom and you would just use a little bonding strap you know, to go from one to the other, then when the door opens, it has room to flex. However, 
my door it has a piano style hinge that's like that so i'm using two short pieces of this half inch braid in each door just like this so when the door opens it's gonna just move like that you'll see all that um a couple different ways that you can attach these grounding straps these bonding straps you can get these um this is a four gauge uh, i've also got some six gauge i'm going to take the plastic off of these and then you can simply fold up the end and stick them in solder them then heat shrink over uh, that will make one of the best connections possible Another way and a way that I'm going to do some of the exhaust to the cab is I'm just going to punch a hole through a star washer on each side uh, and make sure wherever you're putting these straps, you clean the paint off. You can use a little bit of dielectric grease uh, to go under uh, to keep the corrosion out. Uh, spray paint, you can spritz a little bit of uh, clear paint over. Uh, the connection to uh, keep any, anything out. Um, so yeah, this RF bonding is very important. Now, if you have a car, a pickup truck, a SUV, something like that, you're going to want to bond all the doors, the trunk, the hood, all that. You want several spots down along the frame that you're going to run straps. All right, so I'm going to get to work on this. Um, I don't know that you need to see me actually making the straps. It's pretty straightforward. You have a connector, put the end, put a little solder, you crimp it, you're good, basically. So um, I'm going to get done, and then we'll come back and see what all I have done. Hey, what's going on, guys? I just got done doing an RF bonding project on, on this truck here, and, man, the, the, the results so far are great, and... To see a lot of things and a lot of the benefits, you have to be in, in areas that you're used to being in and stuff like that, and um, or have have some other testing equipment or whatever. Man, I'm just going to show you something on on the radio that I mean, it's it, it, it's great, it's wonderful. Um, back when I had the antenna on the mirror hoop, every time I'd open up the door, uh, the meter just freaking goes crazy and lots of static and all that. Um, now, when I move the antenna to the back, uh, still getting a little bit. I mean, it's coming up over half. And um, but after doing all the bonding, the antenna ground, all all that stuff, making sure it's all 100%. Let me show you this. All right, here we are. Radio is on. I'm on channel 23 because there's a lot of crap from the uh, truck stop next door uh, going on. But truck is on. Open the door. Lights are on. Look at that. That is just amazing. Right, guys, a few hours later, I'm done now. If you watched the last video, you saw that up here off the mountain, I had a ground wire that came down, came down and went to the frame, and on the other side, came down and went to the frame. The reason I had that is because I thought that this was fiberglass. And uh, I took the handles off and stuff like that and found out that this is actually aluminum. So it's not plastic, it's not fiberglass. So through the bar itself, I should be getting a good ground there. Now, what I did was I came up under here and drilled a hole and ran down to this bolt that runs through the frame itself. And then another one comes up here and goes to this exhaust mount for the cab. And then from this mount up here, to the exhaust itself and also on the very top uh, from the body up to the exhaust so the exhaust is all rf grounded to the cab uh, the cab is to the frame on the doors now i don't know i'm fairly certain that this door the outer skin uh, could be fiberglass it could be aluminum i'm not very sure uh, I just, I do know that I was not getting uh, good ground off of the mirror hoop. So, on the on the previous setup. So, came inside the door jam here, remove 
this bolt now if you're going to do this do one at a time don't do them both at the same time um, or you will this piece back here will fall back in the door so make sure you do them one at a time came to the hinges here uh, to a to a bolt and like I said this is a piano style hinge um, it's not your typical uh, hinge here and hinge here um, so yeah it, it makes it a little bit different trying trying to get that ground in there and then from the frame from the frame here up here uh, to this bolt uh, it's grounded and I did clean all the metal off I haven't painted anything yet I'm going to put a spritz of black there and probably some clear under because I wanted y'all to see uh, exactly what was going on and there's also another factory ground from here that runs up to underneath the cab where I had a ground before on the old system so everything that is done on this side is done the same on the other side so there should not be anything that I've missed of course somebody's gonna come along and say hey what about this you didn't do that well hey drop it in the comments so this intent this truck the exhaust the doors should all be one and the antenna totally separate and and it should not reflect off of the exhaust or the top of the cab or anything it should go out like it should so thank you for watching give me a thumbs up like share subscribe all that good stuff i'm jay rich keeping these in the breeze and the shiny side up we'll be seeing you